Hi. Um, here's a thought experiment that comes up quite a lot. Uh, we all know that, or we all should know, <laughs> that the speed of light is absolute fastest anything can travel. Information, physical objects, you know, anything. Um, but here's a thought experiment. Suppose you had a very, very, very long pole, and it's a light year long. Boy, is that a long pole. Very light, sort of, I don't know, unobtainium or something. Um, if you take this light year long pole, hold it out in front of you, and swing it sideways by say 60 degrees, then the shape, it started here and it ended up here, and we moved it a light year across here, right? Which means that the end of the pole went from there to there in the amount of time it took me to move the pole, which if it's very light is very little time. So how is the end of the pole moving faster than the speed of light? That should be impossible, right? But, but it's a solid pole and I just moved it. Why can't I do that? Well, <laughs> the reason is really unexpected. The thing is that this solid object must be made of atoms, ultimately. And atoms are held together by electromagnetic forces. And electromagnetic forces only travel at the speed of light, which means when you move the pole, you can't move it it, you, you can move your end of it 60 degrees, but all of the atoms all along the chain can't carry the message that, hey, we've twisted the pole. That message can't travel along the long chain of matter, atoms to the end at faster than the speed of light. So the end of the pole doesn't know you moved it for, for however long, at least a year afterwards, uh, which means that the thought experiment doesn't work. But it's kind of surprising because you think of everything, you know, a solid object is a solid object but it's really not. Every object is flexible to the degree that its atoms can communicate with each other, uh, which means you can't exceed the speed of light with a mini pole. So, okay, that was fun, thank you.